Hey guys, Aura 1 through 4 here, and I've got another deck profile for you guys. Uh, this is honestly the deck that I'm probably going to take to Nats. Um, it's just been doing so well for me, and it just seems to fit my playstyle perfectly. Um, anyways, uh, I'm running Tag Genus. I came in third at my locals this week. I lost to Psychics. Psychics are crazy, dude. Any of you guys who are like, oh... You lost to Psychics. You're a noob. You guys can go shut the hell up. The Psychics are really good. They can swarm like crazy. And honestly, it was a good rematch. Because I played the guy... He ended up winning uh, round one against the Psychics and 2-0'd him. And then he 2-0'd me. It was a nice match. The uh, second time around. Actually, the first time around was pretty fun, too. But he didn't seem to draw too much. And again, then again... When I was playing against him in top four, he really didn't seem to draw much at all. I mean, I didn't seem to draw much at all. Sorry. It's 4th of July. You know the excuse. Um, anyways, we'll go into the monsters. Got yourself three Tech Genus Strikers. It's a two-star tuner. Special summons like Cyber Dragon. Let you search during the end phase for another Tech Genus. Got yourself three Tech Genus Rush Rhinos. Whenever a four star or lower is special summoned, you special summon him. Also gets the whole search thing. It's really nice. Got yourself three Tech Genius Rush Rhino. He's pretty much the beater of the deck. Uh, he starts out at 16, but when he attacks during damage step, he comes 2000. And he gets the whole searching thing. He's really convenient. Gets you over a lot of things. Next, you got yourself two Tech Genius Cyber Magicians. Cyber Magician is a one-star tuner that has a little searching thing. Plus, while he's on the field, you can synchro summon for a Tech Genus with Tech Genuses in your hand. So you normal summon him, sync him with Rhino, and you get like Hyper Librarian or Wonder Magician or Power Gladiator. It's really nice. Then you got yourself three Reborn Tengus. A uh, Reborn Tengu just lets you synchro a lot more in this deck. Plus, it gives you a lot more field presence. Really convenient. Got yourself one uh, Sangyan. Sangyan lets you search out a majority of the cards in this deck. Got yourself one Glow Up Bulb. Glow Up Bulb, just him paired with uh, Reborn Tengu was really good. I'm not running the Plant Engine. My uh, teammate Drew ran the Plant Engine. And he came in, I believe it would technically be fifth. But he, he lost in top eight to uh, Hero Beat. And he was running the plant engine. I personally don't like the plant engine as much. I think it's a good engine, but I just I only run two plants just to get make room for stuff. Got yourself one dandelion. Just to give yourself those one star tokens. Plus it's a good three star to sync with. And it gives you good field presence. And then one Kinkabio. Kinkabio gives you does so much work. It isn't even funny. Play him. Get yourself a 1-star tuner. You can go for a 5-star, or you can go for a formula sync on. It's great. I like King Kibio so much. Uh, we'll go into magics. 1 Monster Reborn. Staple. Dark Hole. Staple. Trinade. Staple. Book of the Moon. Staple. Double MST. Pretty much staple. Got yourself 2... Pot of Dualities makes this deck significantly more consistent with its 42 cards. Two Pot of Avarices recycling your deck. It's so much useful in this deck. Like, you use up two of your Tengus. Oh, look at that. You just put those two back so your third Tengu isn't dead. And you put your Tech Geniuses back. Convenient. You need two. I think three is honestly too much in this deck. Got yourself one for one. Fills up your graveyard. Plus, to get you your one star tuners out. And then mind control because you're running so many tuners. And it lets you sync for your things easier. Um, go to traps next. The trap lineup in this deck is sort of insane. Got yourself two bottomless trap holes, a mirror force, double D prison, double solemn warning. Really important. Solemn Judgment. 
You got yourself two Horn of the Phantom Beast, which is one of my tech cards. Horn of the Phantom Beast is really good. Um, you can uh, add 800 attack points to any beast or beast warrior, which is Reborn Tengu, Rush Rhino, or uh, Warwolf. And whenever they destroy a monster or a battle, it sends it to the graveyard. Or is it just a battle? It no sense the graveyard. You draw one. So it adds draw power. It's really important. And since you can activate it during damage step, you can't even get out of that crap like monst uh, mystical space typhoons. It's really convenient. I love running it too in this deck. Then you got yourself two trap stuns. Uh, I, originally, one of these was the seven tools of the bandit. But this deck needs to like explode. And if you have seven tools down, you've already missed your chance to explode. Double traps are just better in this deck. Anyways, once the synchros, you got yourself two formula synchrons, one ally of justice cataster, two check genus hyper librarians. It's tech genus, why wouldn't you run hyper librarians? One rush rhino to do the piercing and to draw. Two tech genus wonder magicians to pop the back row. It's a synchro tuner, you draw one. It's a good card. Baits out the warnings like crazy. One Brio. Saved my ass so many times. Black Rose. Scrap Dragon. Pretty much staple. Stardust Dragon. Trishula. Texting is Blade Gunner. Let you do so many really good stuff. I like Blade Gunner so much. And then one Titan is Halberd Cannon. Uh, next we'll move on to the extra deck. The extra deck and the synchro deck are still sort of uh, works in progress. Double Cyber Dragon. Gives you a good beater. Why not? Two Breaker, the Magical Warriors. Let you take out the back row. Uh, also, they're 1900 beaters, so they get around like deck dev and stuff. Two, Effect Veiler, take care of those Samurai and some other annoying decks. PDD Crow, uh, Tengu Synchro was retarded. Well, no, we're not going to call it Tengu Synchro, because Tengu was a draw engine. We'll call it Quick Junk Topple, or Debris Junk Topple. Retarded. Let you do stupid things. Crow is against it. Speak... We'll just stop right here for my little tangent real quick. I'm tired of people freaking calling things Tengu Synchro. Tengu is an engine. It is just like the plant engine. You just, you should just call it whatever it is. Like, it's not plant synchro. It's quick junk doppel or debris junk doppel or plant doppel. It's not, it's, ugh. It irritates me because it's so general. Anyways, two puppet plants, samurai, great keepers. You know the drill. Double knock. One extermination. Really, I like that card a lot. If you exterminate warning, it's awesome. Because then you don't have to worry about warnings. Like, warning, like, it's... It, some people are like, oh, if you warning gets exterminated, it sucks. Dude, if you exterminate warning, you know there's not warnings to worry about. So you can just explode. It's awesome. And then you got yourself two chain disappearance for samurai and for uh, plant synchro. I'm honestly considering trying to tech two king tiger wang who's in here because they work with uh, horn of the phantom beast. But yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna try to tech two in there. So we'll see what I do next week. Uh, since this is the deck, I'm probably gonna be taking nuts. I'm gonna be practicing with this a lot for the next couple of weeks. Uh, if you see an extra deck, it's not going to be my main, uh, local. So, or run through four, signing out.